Hey everyone, welcome to a new video and today we are going to take a look at 7 of the best cheap Pokemon that you can use in the Soul Guardian. Now just a disclaimer, the 7 Pokemon that I'm going to mention are just 7 of the many Pokemon that you can use throughout your journey. There's a lot of multiple very good Pokemon that you can use and these 7 are only like some of the ones that are very good in this game so that you can use and clear the game with them. And if this video gets 100 likes I'll be making a part 2 video with more Pokemons, more legendaries and more Ultra Beasts. Let's start with the most basic one, Tyranitar. Tyranitar is a Pokemon that you can get for free on the 7 day reward. So around 7 to 10 days after you start your game you can get this Pokemon for free if you're just playing the game normally. The best thing about this Pokemon is that if you want to use it you don't even need the Mega Evolution so that it does well to help you on your journey. You can breed Tyranitar to get Dragon Dance which is an egg move and if you don't know anything about breeding you can just check my breeding guide, the link will be in the description. The moveset that I recommend is Dragon Dance, Rock Slide, Crunch and Earthquake but you also have the option to get Outrage and Iron Tail from breeding. But maybe Tyranitar is a little bit too far from you, like you need to play 7 to 10 days and you want to get something early. Now, level 42, you can catch yourself a Raikou. I hear a lot of people discussing Raikou versus Zapdos, which one is the best, and honestly I see a lot of replies saying that Zapdos is better, and I even try to discuss with some friends like why do people think Zapdos is better. The thing is, Zapdos can be better for the late game when you get TMs, and TMs are expensive. If we look at the available moveset of Zapdos, honestly, you don't see anything very good. So Raikou can be another Pokemon that helps you starting your journey, and you can learn Extra Sensory, Discharge, Crunch, and Quick Attack, that's the moveset that I used. Now I just want to do a quick disclaimer. We were looking at the moves, right? And we can see that this charge and extra sensory, these are all high levels. And you're probably wondering what, the, what is this guy talking about? But there's a lot of moves that you can just come over here to your Pokemon, go to the biology moves, and you can actually learn these moves without the level requirement. So for example, if I want to learn Calm Mind, I need level 78, but Extra Sensory and Discharge, that which are the ones I was recommending, you can learn already for free. All you need are some hard scales, which you can purchase on the arena. Now these were a little bit of a starter Pokemon, so let's go into the strong ones. One of the most common common ones is Volcarona. This Pokemon is usually very used because it has a lot of special attack and a lot of special defense, so it's very good against special attacker Pokemon. Also this Pokemon, yes, I would advise to also Mega Volcarona if you are enjoying playing Volcarona because it's a very good Mega. For moveset we can go with Quiver Dance, Fiery Dance, Hurricane and Bug Buzz. But if you don't like Hurricane because it has a very low accuracy, you can use something like Absorb. If you later want to use TMs on this Pokemon, you also have the option of using Psychic, Giga Drain or Roost, that will depend on you. And now going to a physical attacker, we have Hexerus. Since Hexerus gets a Mega Evolution in this game, the Mega Evolution itself gets a lot of attack and a lot of defense and speed. It's also a Pokemon with access to Dragon Dance, and as you can see from this list that I'm making today, most of the Pokemons have a buff that help themselves. These kinds of buffs that will increase your attack and speed, they are very useful when clearing the story. The moveset for this Pokemon would be Dragon Dance or Sword Dance, it also has Sword Dance, that's really up to you, but I would prefer Dragon Dance, and then you can get Iron Tail and Night Slash from Breeding, and also go with Dragon Claw. If you really want, you can use Outrage, I'm just not a fan of getting locked into moves. You also have access to Taunt, which can be very useful in some specific situations. And even later, if you get bored of this guy, you can just use him as a false swiper, really. Okay, next we are going for a slow boy. Mega Tyrantrum. I don't see anybody playing this, but I would love to see people playing it. Because Mega Tyrantrum with a whopping 151 attack and 149 defense, as you can understand, is a very physical defense heavy Pokemon, so it's very tanky in the physical defense side. Also has access to Strong Jaw. Strong Jaw increases your damage of the biting moves. So the moveset that we could go for would be a Dragon Dance, which you can obtain by breathing. You can go for a Dragon Claw, and then we have Crunch, which is your first biting move that will be buffed by the passive. 
And if we go to the Yag moves, you can see you learn Poison Fang, Fire Fang, Thunder Fang, Ice Fang. All of those are biting moves. I would advise Ice Fang so that you can go like Dragon Dance and then High Fang on the enemy, especially good against the Zygarde since it's an Ice type. You can also go Thunder or Fire Fang. Honestly, depends on what you need and Poison Fang really, uh, it has less power. So it, it, it's something that I would try to avoid. But honestly, I feel like this big boy would have some potential. It's just that I don't see many people using it. Going to the next Pokemon, a Mega Mimikyu. Shiny Mega Mimikyu can get 160 attack and 160. 16 speed. The speed is not the fastest thing in the world, but it's also not bad either. One of the best things about this Pokemon is that it has Disguise. Disguise is basically one turn of protection that you have. And what do you do with that one turn of protection? Well, if you have a TM Sword Stance, you can use like one turn to just completely buff yourself with Sword Stance, and then you just slap the enemy on the next turn. But if you don't have Sword Stance, it's okay, because like Mimikyu's moveset is actually very solid with just normal moves without egg moves just normal moves really you have play rough you have hone claws you have shadow claw and you also have shadow sneak so that would be a basic move set like for free shadow sneak would be used mostly because it's a priority move but if you don't like having two ghost type attacks in your move set you can go for wood hammer for example and now last but not least we are going into one of my personal favorites which is excadrill now, Shiny Mega Excadrill has an amazing 175 attack, 118 speed, and as we can see the defenses are kinda mad, it has decent HP, to be honest. But that's not what makes this Pokemon amazing. What makes this Pokemon amazing is also the ability. It has a Sand Rush which boosts this Pokemon's speed stat in a Sandstorm. More technically, it will double the speed in the Sandstorm. So I left this Pokemon for last because usually you need two Pokemon to play with this one. You need another Pokemon that summons the Sandstorm because honestly, you don't want to lose a move slot just to have a Sandstorm unless you are really forced to. If you really really want, you can learn Sandstorm and you can run something like Sandstorm, Earthquake, Swords Dance and Metal Claw. That would be the free to play moveset. If you can, you should be going for this moveset, Iron Head, Earthquake, Rock Slide and Swords Dance. If you don't like Rock Slide in this situation, you can use Axe Scissors or Shadow Claw. And as I was saying, you need a Pokemon to summon Sandstorm so that you don't lose many turns with it. What I like to run is a Smooth Rock on the Pokemon that is summoning the Sandstorm. Usually I want the Pokemon with the Sandstream ability. That's the only reason I have the Mega Tyranitar over here, is because I got the ability itself, which is the Sandstream, and what the Sandstream does is that, well, it changes the weather to a Sandstorm the moment this Pokemon comes out in a battle. So I have like a Pokemon that just comes out and summons a Sandstorm, and then you also have this held item, the Smooth Rock, which increases the duration of the Sandstorm from 5 to 8 turns. But of course, getting Sandstream as an ability, you need an ability capsule, you need to change the ability, and that can be complicated, that can be really hard to get. But we are not here to complicate, okay? You can catch yourself and he powed on. And he powed on, even if you want to play this Pokemon, is also decent, but I'm not going to talk about it in this video. He powed on already has the Sandstream ability. So you can just use it, for example, as a sacrifice. That's what I usually do in a lot of situations, is that during the battle, I switch in, I get an Epaldon during the battle, he dies, but he's summoning the Sandstream. So uh, he just dies and it's a free switch into Excadrill, which already will have the Sand Rush activated and have like Swords Dance, Rock Slide. Like, he is offensive, dude. This guy is offensive and actually one shot big boy legendary Pokemon. It's not just your typical Pokemon that, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I talked a lot about Excadrill because I like it a lot, but almost every other Pokemon that I mentioned in this list are equally as good or very good as well in the meta and can achieve great things in PvP. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys on the next video.